Being able to filter and manage the traffic that can reach your EC2 instance is critical for improving the security of your cloud environment. This is where services like security groups come in. A security group acts as a virtual firewall for your EC2 instances to control incoming and outgoing traffic. Inbound rules control the incoming traffic and outbound rules control the outgoing traffic. You can specify one or more security groups when you launch an instance. This might be useful if you're testing out different rules, but be careful to not overcomplicate things. If an instance has multiple security groups assigned to it, it has the sum of all the rules in the various groups. In this ACG fundamental, we're going to create a security group, add rules to it, assign it to an instance, and finally remove it entirely. Let's dive in. Make sure you are signed into your AWS console, and then I'm gonna select EC2. On the left side, under network and security, let's select security groups. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit the orange button, create security group. I'm gonna call this SSH devs, and this description will be allows SSH for devs. And I'm gonna leave the VPC uh, to the one that's already selected for us. Uh, I'm not gonna add any rules at the moment. We're gonna do that later on. Then I'm gonna hit create security group. Alrighty, and it says here security group SSH devs was created successfully. Fantastic. Let's head back to security groups. And just so we can see a list of all of the groups that we've created, we see that SSH devs has been created. Let's go ahead and add a rule to it. So I'm gonna click on it. And we see inbound rules and outbound rules. So on the inbound rules, I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit inbound rules. Then I'm gonna click add. For type, I'm gonna select SSH. And then for the source, I'm going to select anywhere. Now this isn't best practice for any machines or any services that you might have in production. But since this is something we're just testing, it's fine. Now we're gonna hit save rule. Fantastic. We've now added that rule into inbound and we can now assign this security group to an instance. So let's head over to easy to instances uh, under instances on the left side and let's select one of these. Let's click on this second one we have here and under actions, I'm going to select on security and then hit change security groups. Fantastic. I'm actually going to remove the one that it has. And then I'm going to find my SSH devs one. Great. Then I'm going to hit save. Whoops. Uh, SSH devs. Then we're going to hit add security group. And then we're going to hit save. I forgot to hit add security group. Alrighty. If we click on this instance once more, we head to security. We're going to see that under security groups that SSH devs has been assigned. And finally, I'm going to show you how to remove a security group that you've created. Let's head to security groups on the left side. And let's make sure the SSH devs is selected. Then under actions, we're going to hit delete security group. And we see here we have an issue. It's not allowing us to remove this security group because it's attached to an instance. It is associated to an instance. So what we've got to do is click on that instance and then we're going to highlight that. We're going to go to security once more, change security group, and then we're actually going to remove that up oh, and then we'll add another one. We'll add the launch wizard one back there. Hit save. Fantastic. Let's head back into security groups. Let's select that SSH devs and now delete security group, delete. And all set. That's it for this demo. We've accessed the AWS console and we were able to create a security group. We added rules to the group, assigned it to an instance, and finally, we deleted the security group. I'll make sure to link some more resources in the show notes for you to read a little bit more about AWS security groups. Alrighty, that's it for this episode of ACG Fundamentals. Go on and create some security groups for your AWS environments and let me know how it goes in the comments. Keeping awesome, Cloud Gurus. I'll see you in the next one.